Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we are going to see the second problem of weekly matrix three twenty eight. That is, increment sub matrices by one. So I hope that you have gone through the problem statement. But in case if you have doubt, you will understand the problem using the example. So what we have given in the example one is two values. That is, value of n and queries. So the value of n, that is three, represent the matrix size. That is three into three. And we have given some queries, so we basically have to run these queries on the matrix and update its value by one. So if you see the first query, that is this one. So the first two values will represent the value of cell that is present at upper left corner, and the value of and the last two values will basically represent the cell that is at the bottom. Right corner. So, using the look, these two location, we can form a matrix, and we have to basically update the value of this matrix by incrementing by y. So, after running the first query, the matrix will look like this, and after running the second query, the matrix value will be again updated, and it will look like this. So, once all the queries are finished, we just have to return the Updated matrix. So that's all what we have to do in this problem. So the first approach that comes into anyone's mind is basically for each query we can run a nested for loop and update the values of the sub matrix. But this can be a little bit costly operation. Why? Because if you see the value of n, it is going up to 500. And query's length is also in the range of 10 to the power 4. So if you run a nested for loop for each query. It will give you TLE, so we have to think a little bit differently and come up with a more efficient approach. So what uh, we can do is we can use the concept of triplet sum here, and using that we can solve this problem. So let's move to the whiteboard and form our approach. So I have taken the same example that is n is equal to three in this queries array. So We will take two matrices. One is answer, and the other one is temp. So the answer matrix will basically the our uh, final matrix that we will be returning, and this temp matrix is basically the prefix matrix that will help us to uh, get the value of the answer matrix. So the the size of the answer matrix will be same, that is n, but the size of the prefix matrix will be uh, n plus one. So let's see for the query one what we'll be doing. So for the query one, uh, this will be the sub matrix here, and uh, what we'll be doing is we will uh, treating every row of the sub matrix separately. So for each row, we will be applying the concept of prefix sums. So uh, let's see the first row of the sub matrix. The first row is represented by this magenta color. And the first cell is basically one comma one. So what we will do is we will basically updating the first cell of each row by one, and the cell that is present just after the last cell by minus one. So the this cell that is has minus one value will represent that this cell is not included in the row. The cell just before it will be the last cell of that row. Similarly, we will do this. For every other row in the sub matrix, since for the query one it is a two into two matrix, so for the second row we will do the similar thing. After the query one, uh, the temp matrix will look like this. So let's move to the next query and see. So for the next query, the sub matrix will be this. And if we uh, do the similar thing, that is updating the first cell by one and the cell just after the last cell by minus one. The temp matrix will look like this after query two. The second query was our last query of the query array. After that, uh, we just have to form the answer matrix. So we will calculate the answer matrix from the temp matrix using the concept of prefix sum. So the first cell of the answer matrix will be same as the temp. Uh, after that, the second cell will basically Equal to the value of uh, the previous cell of the answer matrix 
and the current value of the temp matrix so here it is 0 and here it is 1 so the summation of these two will result in 1 so the second uh, cell will have the value 1 similarly the third cell will be basically equal to the sum of the previous cell of the answer matrix that is 1 and a uh, value of the uh, current cell in the temp matrix that is minus 1 so minus 1 plus 1 will result in 0 so that is why here it is 0 similarly we will calculate this for every cell in the answer matrix and this is how our answer matrix will be calculated and then just we have to return this now let's move to the code editor and code this problem so as discussed first we will declare two matrices answer and temp after that we will run a for loop in the queries and solve for each query as discussed we will treat each row separate for that we will write a for loop that will be going from initial value equal to row 1 and up to uh, the last value that is row 2 and as discussed in the approach the value of the first cell of each row will be incremented by plus 1 and the value of the cell just after the last cell is decremented by minus 1 so this is how our temp matrix will be formed after that we will run a for loop to calculate our answer matrix so for every row in the answer matrix we will uh, make a variable current that will be initially equal to 0 and for every column of row we will add the value of temp ig into current and uh, initialize it to the answer ig that is how our answer matrix will be calculated and once it is done we just have to return our answer matrix now let's try to run our code and see the result as you can see that it is matching with the expected answer so let's try to submit it so it got accepted so this is one of the way to approach this problem so i hope that this approach is clear to you so if you have any doubt or any query you can comment it down i will try to solve it so thanks guys thanks for watching let's meet in the next video happily coding